What's up everyone, Casey here, and welcome back to Devil May Cry 3. So today we'll be doing Mission 18, Invading Hell, Break the Seal, and Battle into the Depths. So this is a very different mission from any other mission in the game. Uh, essentially, this mission is a boss rush. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Swordmaster. And I think uh, we'll keep everything equipped the way we have it. Actually, I may choose Agni and Rudra because I, that's my go-to is Rebellion and Agni and Rudra. So I think we'll keep those. Um, we'll go ahead and do another purple orb. Probably two purple orbs just to give us some more devil trigger. I think that uh, we're pretty good on health right now. Alright, so we are at the Unsacred Hellgate. So basically, what's going to happen in this mission is, like I said before, a boss rush of every boss that we fought in the game thus far. Basically. Alright, how about a game of chess, anyone? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take out the chess pieces now. Oh, come on. Gotta watch out for that queen's attack. So her attacks are pretty deadly. Alright, checkmate. So once you take out the king, uh, the, all the rest of the pieces disappear. So, isn't that cool? So then we're just going to jump right back through. I always enjoyed that part of the game. A lot of people take that for granted, but I thought the, the, chess, the chess game was kind of interesting. Alright, so here are all the different gates for each of the bosses. So basically, once we defeat one, it's going to uh, light up its uh, respective color on the board. And once all the colors have been lit, then that's going to open the pathway um, to where we need to go, basically. So let's start down here with the Gigapede. So 
all the fights are basically the same. Alright, so all we have to do is get down on its head, do a few more strikes, and it'll be done. I think it's going to come around. If you use the lock-on feature, It'll help out uh, a great deal trying to locate it. And you'll be able to find out which pipe it's coming from. And I think it's going to come bound. Yes, out of this one. It keeps doing that stupid spinning thing. Um, the first time we fought it, it re didn't really do that that much, but... What can you do? There we go. Alright, so we can go through the portal now. That's going to take us back and you can use the green orbs to uh, revive yourself you know give you more health but you kind of want to wait until you know you're a little bit lower than what you are all right so here we have Agni and Rudra again Another going out fairly quick. Alright, so now he's got both swords, so he's going to be a little bit tougher than what we fought him the first time. Because before we beat both of them, before they could do this... But it's not going to matter because he's going to be down right now. Yes. Go down, big guy. Alright, let's go ahead and grab those red orbs and we'll be on our way. Now, for someone that's never played this, the boss rush might be a little intimidating. Because it's like, oh, there's a lot of them. But no, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's not... It's not that bad at all. Okay, so here's our girl Nevin. Let's take her on again. Her fight is always so annoying.
I do feel like her like her fight is a little bit longer than most of the other bosses. Uh, I th I'd say this one's probably uh, pretty long, and uh, Doppelganger was definitely pretty long too. in that electric field. about this oh uh, she can revive herself I forgot about that oh uh, she just zapped us of our health I completely forgot about that mechanic see a lot of these things she doesn't use normally unless you use it um, you fight her in the higher difficulties completely forgot. I mean, she is a succubus after all. I mean, I don't know how I forgot that. Alright. She's down for the count. Let's move on to our next boss now. go up here and all right so we have our buddy Beowulf now probably should have healed before this fight So I guess we'll go ahead and use a vital star just to go ahead and get us back up. I didn't want to use it, but I know we're going to have to because I didn't use that green orb in between battles. He's definitely a lot more aggressive this time. There we go. So that's going to light up the white sphere. So now one of the paths are connected. Okay, here we have Gurion again.
<laughs> yeah. Got you there, Mr. Aid. That was funny. I was actually riding on his back for a minute. Kind of worried me just for a brief second. <laughs> All right. The next path is connected now. Okay, so it's going to let us go ahead and go through, but... I think I'm going to go ahead and fight the rest of them again. Just to get the, you know, the full experience of the boss rush. Alright, so here's the guys from Mission 2. With a couple of changes, of course. There's a few other demons from later in the game that make an appearance. Hey, it's Reaper. Hey, Reaper. He's here for his final showdown. About tired of dealing with him. Gotcha. Oh, he's back. What a shocking turn of events. know what it is with this guy he just keeps showing up So Reaper's finally done with. So now we have the Leviathan's hearts again. Break down. 
Get out of my way. Hearts are out. Just a couple left. I think we have Cerberus and Doppelganger are the last two. I think. There's the Underworld's favorite three-headed pooch. Took care of that one. How ironic that literally the last boss that we had to fight is Dante's doppelganger. I think that's interesting. Now if I could find the doppelganger boss. Somewhere. I think it's down here. Down here where Cerber yeah, there it is over there. Where Cerberus was, and then we're gonna go this way. And it's gonna take us to, yeah, Doppelganger. One more attack like that should finish him off. Let's go. 
I'm just gonna leave him there for a minute. And he's down. And that is all the bosses in the boss rush. So for defeating all those, you get a blue orb fragment. So go ahead and go through here. Alright, so it looks like Arkham has awakened Sparta's power, so that's not good. Alright, so our time was 23 minutes, and that was gave us a D. Uh, we obviously did use an item or two. I think we used two, maybe? No? I thought it was one. Anyway, I gave us a B, so our rank bonus was 2,000, boss bonus 8,500. So that brings us to Devil Hunter rank A, B for mission 18. Alright guys, so the next video we will take on mission 19. We're very close to the end. I will see you guys next time.